Solar scams are rife right now in the UK solar market because it is booming. And when a market is booming, you attract cowboys. They see the smoke signals miles away. In today's video, we're gonna break down all these scams to make sure you don't get caught out. Now, there are loads of scams in the market right now, but in this video, we're gonna focus on three or four of the major ones. And we're gonna start with the most common one that I see in market. It's all to do with adjusting proposals and sweetening those payback times. Let's see how this works. <coughs> no, no, look, anything's possible. Anything's possible. You, yeah, 100%. Look, here at Solar Sales UK. <coughs> no, no, like I said, look, it's it's doable. Look, you, we, we, can, we can work on it, we can tune it, we, we, we'll find the deal. This customer is almost there, but they are fixated on the payback of this project. Now, right now, it's sat at nine years. They don't want that. They're looking for like five or six years. I think he's going to lose this deal. Okay, look, leave it with me, yeah? Okay, cheers. Right, he's got a few options available to him now. The first one and the correct one, let's be honest with the customer, we can't get that payback, let's reason with them. The second option, we can start to tweak this proposal. Now, usually this will be masked by changing some panel layouts around, maybe swapping the brand of the battery, but the reality, there is one of three things going on. The first one will be the price of energy that is embedded in the proposal. So usually it's like UK rates are like 28 pence per kilowatt hour. We use that, we look at the customer's energy bill to see what contract they are actually tied into. What we could do in this proposal and what he's gonna do potentially is up that rate. He's gonna put it at a higher pence per kilowatt hour and he's also gonna increase the annual inflation on energy because solar is like a 25 year product. So if we put higher inflation every year, that compounds and that makes the savings look even stronger. The other place he can go is export rates. Now, typically export rates in the UK, a peak rate is about 15 pence per kilowatt hour. What they'll say is, look, I've seen customers get 20, 30, 40 pence per kilowatt hour on export. They'll put that into the proposal. And again, that drives down that payback period. And the last one is energy consumption. Let's say right now you're using 6,000 kilowatt hours a year. This guy's gonna put in 10,000 kilowatt hours a year and he's gonna mask it by saying, look, you know, you might get a heat pump, you might get an EV, homes are going more electrified, but they are not giving you that advice or they're not comparing the two proposals. They're just using that higher figure to make it look like your solar system is gonna contribute more and offset your energy costs, driving down that payback period. You've gotta watch out for these. Mm. I've been working on this flat out for you. I've redesigned it. I've dropped our price 150 pound, moved some panels around, six year payback. We've got a deal. I'll send the contract now. Oh, the hard sell. Nice to meet you. I've been looking forward to this one all day. I've driven three hours to get to you. Oh, are you not going to look at the roof? Yeah, the roof's fine. Come on, let's get on with it. This is gonna be painful to watch. Right, picture this. You've been contacted or maybe you've inquired about having a solar survey and assessment on your property. But the person they send in is gonna be a high pressure monster. This is a horrible experience for a consumer. Let's see how this guy is gonna behave. Oh. You've got a lovely house. You don't mind if you smoke, do you? Oh. Just... <laughs> no, no, we're, we're all friends, aren't we? Yeah. Listen, you're a lovely couple. I've had a look at the property, look at the roof, perfect for solar. Now, typically, your roof, 10 panels, and a cheap Chinese battery, 23,000 pounds. But not for you guys, not for my best friends anyway. <laughs> I'm going to ring the boss. I'm going to get you a deal, all right? Bear with me. <laughs> Oh, hiya gaffer, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, you're star fuel. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm with a right pair of bananas. 
Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. I think I said 20, 24 grand or something. Yeah, yeah. Eight grand. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're cabbage, mate. Absolutely thick as custard. All right, I'll do them now. All right, Guy, ring it a bit. Bye. I can't believe it. He's done it. £8,000 discount today for you guys. I nearly signed it myself. It's just, we're not exactly sure. It's a lot of money and we've had quotes for less than that. <laughs> you are joking, aren't you? I mean, I've got you eight grand off. I've driven all this way. <laughs> I spoke to me, boss. I thought we were mates. Well, I'm sorry, mate, but... Have you my one golden ticket on you two? My best pals, you know? Look, look, we are interested. We just need some more time. Listen, I'm not going anywhere until we've got this deal. In fact, you're not going anywhere either. Someone is desperate. Now, these surveyors are self-employed, commission-only salespeople. They're not there to survey. They are there to lay the pressure on, and they cannot leave without that contract. The warning sign there, I'll drop £8,000. No one is dropping £8,000 on the day to win your business. They have set the price way higher, and they're just giving false discounts to make you feel like a valuable customer. It's a horrible experience. Right, how do you deal with this? My advice, you just need to get them out the property. Tell them you are not making a decision right now. You need time to think about it. You need to get them out of your home. You need to have some breathing space away from these aggressive salespeople. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <sighs> right, let's see what this says. MCS inspection required. Act now or you'll lose your FIT payments, export payments, or have a void system. Seems pretty serious. Now, letters like this, they're not uncommon. People get them all the time. I see this on LinkedIn, I see it on Facebook and forums. You just need to ignore them because the likelihood is this has come from a scammer. <laughs> Let me explain how this works. The scammer is ultimately trying to get cash out of you <laughs> by leaning on the fact that you could lose something. And they'll always go around like fit payments, export payments, or even the MCS certificate for your solar system. They'll create Hysteria by saying you've not had an inspection, you've not had it looked at by a professional, they need to do a meter reading. They're just trying to get in the home. Now, once they're in the home and they're doing this phony inspection, their goal is gonna to be to charge you for essential maintenance work. So maybe changing a meter, changing an inverter, cleaning the solar panels. And it sounds like people wouldn't fall for this, but they fall for it all the time. There is so many horror stories online. And what's really sad about this is that these scammers typically will target the elderly or vulnerable people because people who are a bit older who have cash typically have solar and they had fit systems and they don't want to lose that vital income. Scammers know this, so they always go for where it hurts. Another variation of these scams is that if you have a FIT scheme, so this is a scheme where you're on a fixed income from the government based on deemed generation and deemed export. Sometimes these scammers will reach out to you via a letter or an email. They'll get your details from the database. And what they will do is offer to buy the rest of your contract for your FIT scheme in one knockdown rubbish sum. Now, some people are like, look, I can get my hands on a couple of grand here. Well, these scammers, they're essentially trying to buy 20 grand's worth of guaranteed income for pennies. And again, people fall for this because they see a quick book, but it can be really, really complicated and it is definitely not good value for money. So how do you know whether these letters are from scammers or from legit authorities? Whoa. Well, the likelihood is MCS are not going to write to you for anything other than two things. One of them to say, here's your certificate. And the second one to say, we might want to come and inspect your job. Now, if MCS want to come and inspect the job, this does happen. Contact MCS, go onto the website and ring their number. Don't call from the letter because they're going to impersonate MCS. Just find MCS, the official number. We'll put it on screen now. You can give them a call and check, do you want to come and see my property? If anyone asks you for any money post-inspection, reach out to one of the regulators and get an independent assessment. 
The likelihood is you do not need to pay any money to keep your fit scheme alive. You know, you will have maintenance, you know, your inverter might fail, your meter might fail. You can organize to get that changed, but there is no compulsory periodic checks required where you have to hand money over to keep export or fit payments. <laughs> okay, confession. I'm a terrible actor. I'm an even worse scammer. But look, you need to watch out for everything that's going on in the industry right now. There is huge amounts of pressure selling going on. You've got manipulation of proposals, and you've just got people being underhand trying to push people to go for solar systems they don't want to buy. Now, solar is a brilliant technology. I think you should buy it. I recommend it to anyone. If you get the right proposal with the right installer, it will be a success story. What you need to avoid is getting scammed and caught out on any of these dirty tricks. Me, me again, sorry, I forgot to say. If you've liked the video, please do give it a like. If you've got any questions or any stories of you being scammed or anyone you know who's been scammed, drop a comment below and check, are you subscribed to the Heatable YouTube channel? Because if you're not, you'd have missed this video and you'll definitely miss the next one. It's me dressing up as a Wally. See you there. That was good? Yeah? Not doing that ever again. <laughs>